A FAM production. Furniture and mattress. FAM.news. How to beat the big box by marketing luxury appliances. Our co-host today is John O'Halloran, and the FAM Marketing Show starts in 30 seconds. Brick and mortar to click and order. Nationwide Marketing Group is your partner for the entire shopping journey. When it comes to digital marketing, Nationwide members don't just buy clicks or impressions. They get results. You see, Nationwide Marketing Group is a premier Google partner with an industry-leading digital marketing platform called AdRocket. Nationwide gets your store in front of customers during the shopping journey, driving customers into your store to buy from you. Learn more right now at nationwidegroup.org. Oh, that music means one thing. It is the Fan Marketing Show with Yo Adrian and our special co-host today, John O'Halloran. This is Strategies, Tips, and Ideas to Help Retailers and Brands Grow Their Furniture, Appliances, and Mattress Business. Let's go right out of the gates, as always, with our trivia question for today. Hit us, Adrian. So, I will. Um, and in honor of our show co-host today, I thought I would do an appliance trivia question. So according to Yale Appliance Statistics, they ran a statistics report back in August. What is the number one appliance brand? Just general appliance brand. And I'll give you three choices. So your first guess is Whirlpool. Second is KitchenAid. And the third is Samsung. So, I'm going to guess that John has a huge advantage in answering this question. But I will say, I need some clarification. Ooh. When they're talking about number one, are they talking about number one in terms of brand identity? Number one in terms of revenue? <laughs> It just says, what is the number one appliance brand? That was the question from the report that I pulled. Okay, well now we're gonna have lots of opinions. Okay, John, <laughs> you got your answer? You got you got it baked into your head? I can't give it away though, I promise. <laughs> All right, hang around till the end of the show. And, and by the way, if you think you know the answer, go over to fam.news and you can text us using our podium number right there from our website. And our guest today is John O'Halloran. John, you are the Director of Luxury Appliances with Nationwide Marketing Group. And the last time I saw you, you were giving us a whirlwind tour on the primetime show space floor of the luxury appliances industry. And that was a lot of fun. Tell us about, tell us about you. Tell us about your background and tell us what you do with Nationwide Marketing Group. Sure. Thanks, Mark. I love your guys' energy. Hey, Adrian, how are you? Good. Um, so yeah, so John O'Halloran, I'm uh, I live in Chicago, but uh, and I've based out been on, based out of Chicago my entire career. I've been in the appliance business for about 21 years now, and a lot of that time I spent in the uh, luxury space. So a lot of that's been through distribution. But the fun thing about when you're talking about distribution is that uh, you get to touch a lot of different brands. So I've had the uh, opportunity to sell over 20 luxury appliance lines into the independent retailer channel. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm very passionate about the luxury space. Um, I think my experience and the relationships that I've built over the years have kind of made me somewhat uniquely qualified for what I'm doing at Nationwide. Um, the first thing is I've had a lifelong career of working with the independent retailers. So moving uh, to Nationwide Marketing Group, it's been the best experience for the simple fact that I get to continue not just, I'm not selling into the channel anymore, I'm actually able to work on their behalf and try to help them with their business. And with the focus on the luxury appliance sector um, that we launched about a year and a half ago, it's allowed me to even help them focus on what I consider, you know, the luxury appliance business to be probably, you know, one of the most important categories for luxury or for appliance retailers, because it's 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 very difficult for the big box stores to sell and be successful selling. And it's it's a it's a part of the business that's owned by probably about eighty to ninety percent of the sales are done through the independent retailer. That right there, I think, delivers us right into this topic, which is as an independent retailer, how do you beat the big box with luxury appliances? And like you said, I think the setup there is is great. It's just not a it's not a category that that some of the big box big box retailers are are serving or going after. And why is that? Help us understand why would the big box not go after that category and why is it better served by the independent retail channel? Also understand well, we come from the land of Walmart too. So why is Walmart not catering to the luxury consumer? 
Well, I think it's a great question, right? And it's not for lack of trying in the past, mm -hmm. right? So, so they've attempted to be successful in the luxury space. Um, but the challenge is, and why the independent retailer does so well, is to be successful with luxury appliances. And, and think you're you're talking about, you know, very heavy, big appliances that need to be a lot of times customly installed. They need to be really, you know, with the right specifications. Um, they're very costly. So it really needs to be sold by a true sales professional, right? And we call it like an assisted sales board. So there's a tremendous amount of training that our retail sales associates for independent retailers have to be successful in the luxury space. Um, you just don't get that at the big box store, right? Um, also, the delivery and installation. So a lot of uh, independents will have their own delivery and installation teams that are highly qualified and they understand they're trained how to deliver a product without damaging it. But then the important thing is, and then installing it. Um, a lot of independents have, you know, service that they provide, right? Or have tie-ins to local service networks that when there is a problem, because that, you know, you spend $15,000 on a refrigerator and there's an issue, you want it taken care of right away, right? And so they have the relationships it, with the independent service network as well to make sure that they handle these after service um, uh, problems when they arise. So there's a lot of different reasons. And for these reasons, right, it just allows the independent to continue to thrive in the luxury space. One of the things from what I understand, whenever it comes to selling luxury appliances, it's just a different path to purchase for the per person who is going to purchase luxury versus maybe a duress purchase. And for example, uh, you know, from talking to some of the folks uh, that, that showed at Nationwide's Primetime Expo uh, on the luxury space, they were talking about how uh, people really aren't, aren't buying onesie twosies. You know, they're d redoing entire kitchens with uh, appliances from the same luxury brand, or perhaps maybe they already have some of those appliances from what one luxury brand and they're rounding out the rest of the appliances to complement that because the kitchen is such a centerpiece. So unlike whenever your dishwasher goes out and you have to go get a new one, there's a lot more intention and planning. And that's a, obviously a different path to purchase than uh, just buying a one-off. Yeah, absolutely. Right. There's a lot the, the, the sales cycle, we'll call it, or just the lead time, you know, you have consumers that are planning their kitchens today for delivery six to 12 months down the road mm -hmm. because the path to purchase is not just coming in for that dishwasher that you mentioned because you, you know, it, it, that broke down and now you're frustrated because now you have to buy a new dishwasher you weren't planning for. This is a purchase that you're planning for and you're excited about. So you're in, and you're also not just working necessarily with say the retail sales associate, you're, you're working with a, a kitchen designer, you're working with an architect, right? You're working with your builder. So it's a more complex sale, but again, the, the relationship part of this is really, really important. And that's why, you know, more so than, you know, the other sides of the appliance business, it's so important to focus on the relationships with the consumer, with the design community, with the builder community to be successful in this area. Adrian, I know, just had redid her kitchen, right? And you worked very closely with your architect, didn't you? Well, we are currently building. So um, on actually today's episode that debuted uh, with Robert Kohler from Monogram, we were talking about how I'm in the septic design process of building. So it's not the glamorous part. But as we were talking about working with our architect, it was necessary that she was like, if you're going to be, if you're going to do more than like a standard, you know, whatever brand refrigerator, we need to design that now so that when you get it to a builder and you actually go to that process, you're not like, oh, I bought a 48 inch range, but we only designed this kitchen for a 36. Like it's necessary to start having those conversations very, very early on. Because to your point, by the time that this house actually gets built, this is the closest we've been, it will have been like a 10 to 11 year process from finding the land, actually creating the plan that we wanted, building it, et cetera, et cetera. You're talking 11 years that I've had to sit and percolate and think about what do I actually want like out of my kitchen? <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's a very long sales cycle, <laughs> 11 years, right? But, no, but but I mean, if you're it's, talking about from the time I started to design from hopefully we're breaking yeah. ground less than a year, less than a year. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's, you know, what I'm talking about, you know, it's, you're excited about this, yes. you know, you're excited about the kitchen. So you want to make sure it, it reflects kind of what your personality is, 
what you know what your needs are and so that's why the path to purchase is not simply walking in and saying okay i need a need new dishwasher right mm -hmm. it's very carefully planned out and not just through a retail sales associate but multiple different parties and it, and it starts with usually the, the architects and the designers you know we call the specifiers in the process and you know i would How do you think about that oh sorry i was gonna say adrian you, you go ahead to all of this when you talk about being the big box when I start to think about purchasing my refrigerator or my range or my oven or whatever else, my mind doesn't instantly go to a big box because I know that the things that we have designed and put in place are not going to be sold there. So then my question becomes, where do I even go? Where do I even start to look? A lot of times I'm going to go online and if, see if something pops up to be like, okay, where can I now physically see this in the store to see if it actually does what I want it to do? Absolutely. Well, and that's the importance of, you know, we talk about the way to be big box, you know, with the luxury appliances is you have to market them, mm -hmm. right? So you have to talk about it. And, um, you know, we're coming off a pandemic time period where uh, a lot of retailers might have kind of let their foot off the gas pedal for marketing because business has been so strong, right? right? And it's been extremely strong in the luxury space. We need to, you know, things are starting to level out a little bit more and get back to what we say to more of like a 2019 level, right? And if it's not today, we we'll, we expect to see that probably in the next six to 12 months. Mm -hmm. So it's more important than now than ever to make sure that we're getting back into those, you know, some of the basic things that we used to do. And that is marketing and advertising. You know, advertising and marketing luxury appliances not only is a draw on consumers, but it's a great differentiator for you versus the big box stores. Absolutely. You know? If you combine that with talking about other categories that you you know you, you sell the most expensive refrigerators, but also the most entry level dishwasher, mm -hmm. right? So it really defines you and your local marketplace as the true expert. Mm -hmm. So very important that people you know get back to doing some of the basic things that they used to do. And John, whenever you think about marketing luxury appliances, are you thinking about a combination of the retailer and the manufacturer both spending marketing dollars to get in front of the consumer? Are you talking about marketing uh, and advertising toward the builders and the architects and some of those uh, influencers that are going to have the connection with the consumer who's going to buy the luxury appliance, a combination of all of it? How would you sort that out? I, I think it's all of the above, right? So, so the, the vendors, the luxury appliance manufacturers will and have continued to uh, advertise and market to the consumer, but they also advertise and market specifically to what we'll call the trade the trade customer right which is the influencer community it's the builders remodelers um, kitchen designers interior designers the independent retailer right should continue and follow the same type of pattern right you want to a lot of this business is done through retail but there's also a lot of this business that is done in connection with the influencers right the kitchen designers architects as well as builders and remodelers you know, and I would even say moving forward as some of the retail business might start to slow down a little bit because of the uncertainty that's going on. Uh, we expect that we'll see probably more business happen with remodelers. OK, you know, there's a maturity factor going in the marketplace right now where there's a lot of homes that are 15 to 20 years old that are about due for a makeover. Right. What do you think of making over your, your home? What do you think of the first thing to do? Right. It's the kitchen. Right. It's outdated. <laughs> Right. So, so there's a lot of those types of different dynamics going on right now, um, which makes it an exciting time, you know, to continue to be part of the luxury segment. Well, John, we're, Hey, thanks for taking us to school here today. And uh, speaking of going to school, of course, you know, we introduced it with a lesson in luxury. It was a trivia question. Okay. So we got to get back to our trivia question. Adrian, read it to us one more time. And I'm going to let John, Put the exclamation point on this because he knows the answer. I mean, okay. So what is considered the number one appliance brand according to Yale appliance statistics as of 20 August of 2022? So is it Whirlpool, KitchenAid, or Samsung? So I'm thinking in overall dollars, if you want me to answer the question. Okay. Yes. You want me to answer it? I'm uh, okay. If I get it wrong, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to say Whirlpool. That is the correct answer. Okay. All right. Well, pressure's off. Pressure's off. <laughs> I thought, I mean, it's so basic. He won't know. Like he's just not paying attention, but clearly you were the right man <laughs> for the, the job. Well, John, Hey, thanks for being on the show and thanks for helping us 
uh, educate independent retailers on how they can beat the big box by marketing luxury appliances. This is something we're covering quite a bit here on the Fan Marketing Show because it is a way to differentiate. Obviously, there are bigger dollars, maybe a little more margin in that category, but it's a different mindset. And so we're trying to really kind of crystallize some of the thinking around how to get into the luxury appliances space. And thanks to everything that Nationwide Marketing Group is doing to support uh, your dealers. Hey, will you come back? Because I want to I want to talk to you next time about um, how you can specifically market to builders and designers. So I got to put you on the hook to come back and do another show with us. Absolutely. I'd love to. Thank you guys so much for having me on today. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Say, if you've got a marketing tip that's worked for you, reach out to us, go to fam.news and text us on our podium number. Be sure to subscribe and never Miss an idea, Adrian, that could make you a, a luxury appliance scientist. We'll just go with that. Scientist. And join us each week as we bring you more fam marketing magic.